Well, you wanted to see videos on Franken PC's replacement, so let's see videos on Franken PC's replacement. So, here I've got Franken PC's replacement on and running, and it turns out I didn't have any DVI cables. However, I do have a few odds and ends, so I made one. It's a bit of a bodge, as you can see, but it works. I've got a very nice clear picture on the monitor. So anyway, the first thing I want to do, because I've got a lot of files on the hard drive that I want to save before I reinstall Windows on here. I'm running a Linux Mint Live CD at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer all those files I want to keep onto this computer. Okay, so I've got my other computer up on here, viewing it over the network, and this computer's hard drive on the left. Just drag those files over to there. That will make things a lot more simple than having to take the hard drive out and do all that faffing around with it. Well, you know, this might take a while though, if this thing ever hurries up and gets its act together. Well, we're on our way now. Now it's finally decided to access the other computer. And I can see files appearing in the documents folder as it's copying the files over the network okay well that's everything so now I'm ready to reinstall windows on this thing right oh, I'm writing I think it's about time to well get rid of all this stuff so first this keyboard I gotta go And you're about to see just how I can get this keyboard all the way to the ports back there. So I'd better actually unplug them and get the wires out of the way. It do you go. just keeps coming. Well, good thing that can was empty. And now the mouse. This was a really good mouse as well. It's an old ball mouse, but this was a really, really good mouse. And I don't know what I spilled on this thing. But this one had a long enough wire that I didn't have to put an extension on it. That wire was really caught under something. Alright, let's take the power supply out. I might even be able to repair that if I can ever get the bridge um, the rectifiers out. Oh, capacitors. Can always use these. 680 microfarad, 200 volts. Might be useful in a half bridge circuit somewhere. Oh, and here's a component you wouldn't expect to see in a computer. But this thing is so old, it uses tubes. Well, not literally, I just put that in there for a joke, but you know. Uh, I'm going to take all this out and I'll be back. I'll be back. Well, that's all the old technology removed. That'll be replaced with, well, some not so ancient technology. But first, I need to give this a damn good clean because this is absolutely filthy. I had no idea it was that bad. Well, that's looking a lot better. But now, I think it's. It'd be helpful if I didn't bash the camera with my huge bulk as I go by. And now, I think it's about time. That I started putting stuff on this table. We has a computer. Well, everything's here, but it still needs to be wired up. 
But speaking of wiring, there is something that's going to make connecting the monitor a little easier. Because I happen to be rummaging around in the shed looking for something else. In fact, I was looking for those speakers. And what did I happen to find? A VGA to DVI adapter. Would you believe it? Didn't even know I had one of those. Alright, well, that's everything wired up. So let's plug this thing in and see if anything blows up. Okay, so far so good. Right, well, let's turn this on and see if it works. Okay, we got it. It's alive, it's alive. And I don't have my dongle in the keyboard, so I cannot even start Windows. I need my dongle for the wireless keyboard. That's going to start itself anyway in about a few seconds, but let's just plug this in. If I can just get that in there. Make sure that's working. Yep. Yup. Still not going to work anyway, but you know, I can show you what happens and then we can reinstall Windows. No, didn't even show us the blue screen that time. So you might be wondering, why is it that I want to reinstall Windows XP on this computer? Because the software I have is pretty old, and it won't run on anything past Windows XP. And also, it's because Windows XP is awesome. So that's why I'm going to reinstall Windows XP on this thing. Of course, I'm not going to go through the whole process of reinstalling Windows XP, because that's going to be a bit boring, but that's what I'm going to do now. Well, we're well on our way now. At first, the Windows XP installation would not respond to my keyboard. As it turns out, it doesn't like wireless keyboards. Looks alright from a white keyboard though. Here comes Windows XP. I don't know why the fans have come up so high. Surely it cannot be that hot. No, there's barely any heat coming out of that at all, so I don't know why it's doing that. But still. I found out why this thing kept blue screening every time it was trying to load the previous version of Windows. You know why? Because it's got the two partitions of the hard drive mixed up. But a reinstall of Windows is going to sort all that out, which is what I'm doing now. And we're done. Right. First, I just want to have a look on the hard drives to make just to see what we've actually got here. Okay, so C is where all my media is installed, and D, because this computer is a bit thick, is where it's Windows installed. Just gotta remember that. So I've still got all my files right here, which is nice. We're almost ready to go, except for one little problem. Drivers. Now that's one thing that I do love about Linux. You put it in and it just works. You don't have to go searching for drivers. But right now we've got no sound, no graphics hardware acceleration, not even any networking. So, I'm going to sort that all out. Because, I've been on their website, and I've got all the drivers that I'm going to need. Plus a couple of other things that I've put on there, which I'm going to put on here, but you know. Okay, so we've got everything installed, I'm just running through the tests. It's passed the direct draw test. So we'll test the I mean test direct 3D. Make sure that's working. And it is. So software and hardware acceleration's working. I mean 2D and 3D acceleration seems to be working. And the sound's working, that's definitely working. 
Because as soon as the sound driver installed, it practically blew me across the room. I did not know that this little amplifier had been turned up that much, but still. I think we're good. So there we go. That's this little computer all ready to get to work. Well, after I've installed all the software I want to use, but you know. So yes, and yes, at a later date, I probably will upgrade to that quad core that I've got in the shed, but until then, this will do. I like these little computers. I think they're, you know. Anyway, that's it for now, so until next time, goodbye.